layers in the, I will restart. I go to layer section in uh, Junod. I click on upload layer. I will select uh, the shapefile files and uh, drop in uh, Junod and then click on upload the files. Now I'll take, uh, it'll take a bit to process the the layers, and um, after that we are ready to start to apply styles to to this basic layer. Um, in the meanwhile, I, okay, it's ready. Uh, we can go to layer info to see if uh, okay. So uh, this is the layer. Uh, usually, uh, Junod apply uh, default styles when it load uh, the the new layer. Now it apply uh, yellow for polygons, as you can see, and uh, we can view this layer directly in a view layer to apply the first styles. Now after in view layer, oh, I have to zoom out, okay. Um, we can open the list of uh, layers from uh, the button in the left top corner and uh, click on the layer. These represent the layers and uh, open the settings is uh, the branch uh, icons and in the end open the style editor style editor is uh, we show the list of the available uh, style for the current layer and uh, user can uh, modify the layer in the list or add new ones to add new ones, you have to click the first button on the left, use the pencil, and uh, you say create new styles. And to create new style, you can choose from the templates that provide the styler. We, I will start with a solid fill. Now, as you can see, it provides also the preview from the template. Uh, we start from template to to have a basic style to start. And uh, when uh, you have select the, the style, you can add it, change the name. I will name it Ocean, Ocean and save. Now, after the loading, it will add uh, the new style to the list. And uh, so now we can start to edit with the second button is the edit uh, selected styles. And now here we have the basic GeoCSS styles. I, before to start to style, I will show the basic rule of uh, UCSS styling. UCSS to, to be valid uh, style is need uh, to have uh, um, declaration of uh, star curly brace and uh, close curly brace uh, where you can put inside the properties or have a filter to filter data that uh, have to where you have to apply the property you will list inside these uh, two braids. Uh, the rule, uh, usually, the basic rule you will see more often are stroke, that uh, is uh, the, usually the border or to paint the lines, the fill to 
paint uh, surface for polygon for a marker. Uh, mark to select the marker to use in, the, in this example, there is a circle. And uh, display labels uh, with uh, the property labels. So these four uh, are the basic rule. There are a, more, a lot more rules, but uh, for now we will use uh, this one. A stroke and fill need uh, a hexadecimal color. So this styler provide a color picker to help or as you see before, you can use the color groover tool to select the, uh, a palette with the hexadecimal color. Now, back to the styles, we have our brace, curly brace. And uh, then we have the first rule of the basic style is the fill. And with the fill, we have uh, the color AAAA -A -A -A, that is uh, gray, as you can see. Now, for start, I will change it another color, random color, for example, red. And uh, the style editor will uh, preview right the, the color you are applying. Or uh, you can click on uh, this uh, square near the, the, the colors uh, uh, that uh, will uh, pop up a uh, uh, color picker. So you can select from uh, directly from the color picker. Now I want uh, a dark background to start uh, a dark uh, blue background. Okay. And uh, it will apply the color. For the ocean, now I will, will try to add a new rule that is the opacity. Um, now you see that uh, there, there are a red underline on, um, on this uh, style. It's because uh, it's wrong style. So the style editor will uh, tell you if uh, you are making a good style or not. And if the style is not valid, you, you cannot uh, save the style. Where, so, where do you get all these uh, properties? Fill, mark, okay. label, from okay. the, geos, the CSS for the geo? Yes, it's, uh, yeah. it's geo CSS it's from, the from the geo server. And uh, the property I linked in the documentation uh, Sorry, in the repository, you can find the first link is the documentation okay. of GeoCSS. Okay. And uh, the property list is okay, uh, here. There are a lot of um, rules. Yeah. For now, I will start with the basic rules. Okay. Yes. And usually you will use uh, the basic rule okay. because, and um, make complex uh, style with the function inside the rules. Um, okay. For example, now I'm using fill, and as you can see, uh, you, you will find uh, fill as a root of the rule with uh, other property. For example, fill opacity will apply opacity on the fill. Okay, great. It's work uh, for all in this way. There are some, probably some rule that, uh, for example, Z index uh, is not related directly to uh, symbolizer, but uh, here okay. you can find uh, all the rules. And uh, also the, um, the stylers helps because uh, it provides a list. So if, if you forget uh, some rules, you can uh, okay, okay. with the arrow select what mm -hmm. you want. Now I want uh, fill opacity, mm -hmm. so I can uh, apply opacity on uh, the background, sorry, on the ocean. You need a number between zero and one. Now, I, uh, if I use zero, zero point two, it's... When you save it, is it applying or without clicking it, how do you save? 
Yes, every time you change uh, your typing, it will wait that you stop typing and uh, you have to save for the preview. So you don't need to uh, save uh, directly. You need to save all, only on the when you are ready to exit from uh -huh. the editor. You have to confirm your changes because uh, current changes are on a temporary style. Okay. So you can preview it, uh, and also if you change it and uh, go back, it uh, we said and say you that uh, the style has changed and uh, okay. you need to save it. or or close it. We close without save and uh, and uh, maintain the preview style. So now I can, uh, for, for example, I, I I'm ready with this style. So it's okay, so I can confirm. It will load and send request to Geonode to save these styles. Okay. And this style has been saved. So now when you go back to the list, you will see. Mm -hmm. You can choose between the first style you had, the one provided from Geonode or the one you created. We made the old, these old, change, old changes in the, the layer sections. So this layer is uh, available styles and, on, and not the default style for, for this layer. Uh, you have to go to the manager to apply as the default styles. If you want that layer will show always this style. Now I would like to uh, move uh, to um, create a maps with uh, this layer we have created. Now I have ready some maps. Maybe I will start directly from this and remove uh, the layer so we can see which uh, would be the result of this style, I have to move this, okay, I can move this. So I made this, uh, this map with, uh, with uh, the, all the style you, you see in the repository. So in the record, there is uh, uh, the list of style in, uh, that map and uh, every style has the name that is uh, the same of uh, the one you can find on the portal. You got, you got portal on or uh, natural earth portal. The only one I change is the shader relief is a raster layer that uh, I downloaded from uh, uh, natural earth. I show you where I find it in the raster section. Uh, you can find uh, some uh, nice uh, background, uh, global background that uh, are e-shade uh, or uh, shaded relief. I, for this demo, I downloaded shaded relief uh, and use it as background. So for the raster data. And uh, here there are uh, the two styles. Now back to, sorry. Okay. Okay. And, okay. Edit map. Now we have see basically the fill the ocean. Now uh, I in this map I removed the background because. Uh, uh, I want to, I want to create um, all styles also for the background and the overlay data visualization because you can apply and choose different uh, pre-selected background from the UI. Now, now this is the shader relief that I downloaded from uh, Natural Earth with uh, the ocean 
style that uh, we made before. Yes. Uh, so the rules uh, are on the opacity and uh, on uh, the uh, fill. I use opacity because uh, if uh, there are also, you have uh, data from uh, bathymetry, it's uh, interesting to make a nice effect, effect uh, of uh, transparency, so it seems like more water. Mm. For this example, okay. And uh, I will move on um, uh, more complete style with uh, the layer from countries. Now, this is uh, the layer that uses the field, the field properties in a different way by changing the scales. So in the uh, scale with a higher denominator, you will see pattern from uh, uh, countries. Uh, in the next zoom, you will see uh, some random pattern that uh, will be different by the population on the countries. And uh, next we will see a transparent background. So this style will show uh, different uh, configuration on field property based on the zoom levels and data from the layers. Now, uh, I will start to, first of all, to hide for my style, so we can start from an empty style and uh, rewrite the style so we can see. Now I will use a different color so it's more visible. So, as you can see, now I apply a fill so I can, uh, and I will apply also a stroke so I can see all. Uh, our data and the style, how they are applied. So this data is about the countries, it provides information about the name of the country, population, and some code useful to filter the countries. And um, so we, we see that uh, not all um, the, the the data were visible, but uh, only some some information. In uh, before we will see, we we saw only the flags on the Iga countries. That's because uh, there we in this case we will use a filter properties, filter properties, uh, now I will show a slide, filter properties uh, applies uh, to, to the style as a rule between uh, square brace and uh, there are um, different uh, rule that uh, are properties uh, should be equal to the value, not equal, greater than, less than, and so on. So uh, there are different ways to match the value in the proper property of the layer data. Now, uh, with GeoNode, to uh, understand what kind of data we are using, we can click on uh, the layer and uh, we can uh, see if uh, the page is correct and now this is country as you can see uh, you can scroll and uh, go to other layer to get information about that uh, that feature 
Uh, in this case, uh, he will show the information you you will find in the feature. And uh, uh, I, for example, I want to filter the countries uh, in the IGAD region. So uh, I will use a filter on the admin uh, code. There is admin code A3, yes. where three values. And uh, we start to write the filter. The filter need uh, two uh, square brace. Uh, needs the na name of uh, the property from the layer you want to filter. And uh, as you can see, when you start to type, it uh, gives you the names so you can uh, select from the list. It, that match in this case with the uh, A. We will select the admin 0, A3. And uh, for example, we decide that uh, admin should uh, be equal to ETH, so uh, Ethiopia. And now, as you can see, the style is applied only on that uh, feature. So with the filter, we can uh, select uh, where to apply uh, this style. So for example, if we add uh, copy this rule and uh, apply a new, new rule for Somalia, we will see also Somalia, and uh, we can apply a different color. Now, back to this first filter, instead of make a multiple rule, we can use the option for the filter in and open and close parentheses around the values. That means that uh, admin uh, property should uh, match one of uh, the, fall, the, the values inside the parentheses. So if we add a sum inside these, uh, these parentheses, it will, uh, this type will apply also on uh, some Somalia. Now, I listed, I listed before all the All the countries that we are using. So now, as you can see, I added, added all, the, all the code and uh, we will see only the country's data around this, uh, this region. Uh, only to be sure, you can see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So now we see that uh, I feel uh, are using uh, is using a color, but uh, we can also apply um, a external uh, resource, so an image on SVG to the field properties. So now I will apply. I copy and paste, but I will, I will rewrite this, uh, this code. And the field uh, with URL need also the types, the meme types of uh, the, the resources. In this case, we are using SVG. So we have to write image SVG. If we were using uh, PNG, we have to add uh, uh, image uh, PNG in that case. JPEG or everything. Oh, yes, it's need uh, only the meme type uh, to, to be declared. Mm -hmm. So uh, I remove also this one. Uh, 
But Arish. usually these, fi these files are stored where? Anywhere? Uh, for this d demo, I stored this, uh, this file on my local server. But uh, you can, uh, for example, uh, I will take some... I will flag... So, okay. For example, I can uh, take uh, from uh, the image, I open thinking you tab. Sorry, not that one. Uh, open image new tab. You can take the link directly. So this is a URL from Wikipedia, for example. And I uh, will add here. <laughs> now, uh, that will not apply because uh, it's a PNG. So we'll have to change the type. Here, yeah, it should be PNG. And now the scale is wrong, but uh, it's apply on it. I change the scale. I will explain. Yeah, it's big. It's big huh? Yes, uh, I try to change. Right to oh no, I select the wrong is a field size, not select the field size. Okay, now that should be only on the so oh yes, for now I will hide the others. So, oh, it's wrong. Okay. Okay, so, oh no, some, no, sol. Okay, so you can use external links. Uh, in this case, for the demo, I use the internal links to show another property of uh, URLs. Um, because, uh, back to, oh, okay, I will back on this. URL. Meme is it uh, when you define the type? It's called file meme. Yes, file meme is the meme types of the file. So here is the 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 types. Yes. Okay. Now, are we? Okay. Now this is back to SVG. So the, um, there are two ways to apply the field to, to uh, different countries based on the, their code. Now, the first uh, approach could be to, sorry, back, uh, to make uh, single rules for every countries. Now I will delete uh, any field size. Okay. And this one is SVG. Okay. Okay. We can apply single rule for every countries. So every countries needs to have uh, its rule. So Sol will have Sol and uh, we'll be painting it. And uh, for example, Ethiopia will have his file. Okay, now we'll update. 
Okay, so we can use single rules to apply it, to apply uh, the different uh, pattern, but uh, there is a um, uh, compact way to make this. And uh, to make this, I mm, made uh, the flex. In the, you find the flex in the folder of the repository. They start with the name of the code of the uh, admin. So it's easy to select. And uh, in this way, oh. okay. uh, in this way, you can uh, remove single rules and uh, uh, use the admin values as variable inside your uh, URL. So using the dollar curly brace, close curly brace and inside these values that is equal to this one, uh, this, uh, the value you select in the filter, you have a filter for this rule, we will uh, be replaced in uh, this URL. So in this case, uh, this variable will uh, read by uh, Junode and in background with, from your server as uh, SOM. Sorry, SOM. So, so if uh, we add all the countries for every admin labels, this, uh, this value will be replaced inside this URL. So you don't need to create multiple, multiple rules, but you can uh, use uh, the name to select uh, the, the flag. It's important that uh, the flag has the same values of the values of the data. So in this case, uh, um, we made uh, this flag that uh, start uh, with the name of the country. Oh. It's more compact and uh, you can, uh, you, you don't need to write for every flag, every country. Uh, a new rule, but uh, you have a single rule that contains all the values. Now, I wrote also these uh, two rules. The one is the size, that if I change now the size, you will see the flag uh, smaller. Maybe too much. <laughs> or bigger. So in this way, uh, and also for every country, you can decide to change uh, the background, the pattern background as you prefer. Maybe a smaller country need a uh, field size uh, smaller than the country with uh, uh, greater surface. For now, I, select, I choose to use this uh, continuous pattern and uh, I had also this graphic mar margin that uh, will show you what happens if I change it. That apply a border around uh, every single um, um, element of the uh, image of the pattern. So you can decide to have uh, margin by one. Now I, for this uh, webinar, for these uh, styles in particular, I like to add uh, minus two. So they seem more continuous and uh, there are no space in between these flags. Uh, so this is the way we apply patterns with the rule fill on polygon shapes with your node. And uh, to summarize a bit, uh, oh no, not this one, sorry. 
Summarize a bit. Uh, so this uh, this rule needs to the fill is a URL URL that uh, should provide an image, an SVG. You need to uh, declare the type of uh, the image you are providing. You can uh, decide to change the size with the fill size of the pattern and uh, change the uh, margin around the thing, the image on the pattern. So this is the rule to make uh, this kind of styles. Now, uh, in the styles, we want that uh, the pattern will uh, be visible only on the high scale denominator. So we want that, uh, for example, on the scale, we we will use a different uh, a different uh, fill for this data. What, what if you want to fill the, the country by only one big picture? Uh, mm -hmm. Only one big picture, yeah. you have to... No, no, what I'm saying is for Ethiopia, one Ethiopia flag, for Sudan, one Ethiop Sudan flag. For Somalia, yeah. it's okay. But uh, when you see Kenya in Ethiopia and the rest, it seems like the pattern is repetitive for each country. So Yes, it needs to be adjusted by countries with the field size. For example, as you can see in Somalia, oh. I put the... The fill size uh, 100 that is right for this country. In this example, to be uh, okay, I have to add the rule for uh, the rest every, of the classes. Yes, for that to be to match uh, the yeah. size, and uh, it should base it also on the scale because on the scale it could be okay, but this scale is not okay. So probably it need uh, a slight change. So probably combining all those countries. Uh, code to get up in this form may not help. I don't know. Yes. Uh, the needs... previous code was easier to... Oh, okay, continue. Uh, yes, I think now for Ethiopia, what did you do? Ethiopia. Okay. okay sorry. Okay, I, I will try to. Uh, with GCSS, you can add also nested rule. Okay, nested uh, filter. Yes. So, oh, sorry. Now I will take Ethiopia. Because the pattern is always a continuous uh, um, background, so it repeats uh, the, the the properties. Uh, oh. Sorry. And uh, for example, in Ethiopia, I will try to change. Uh, for this case, okay, too small. Okay, for example, now this could fit uh, the region. So we can continue. Uh, we'll try to eat Kenya. Maybe too much, and maybe this needs a sort of graphic. Yeah. I will try. By the way, as part of the EGAD region, Tanzania is not uh, part Okay, of okay. EGAD. I will remove. Yeah. So that's right. Yeah. Okay. And so you can. So you can adjust the, the sizes of uh, the pattern. There is also a rule should be, and uh, sorry, uh, 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 I will look for the no. So yes. For to, to have a continuous uh, pattern, we need to um, adjust the sizes and uh, create uh, the right uh, size of uh, the 
Now I have to look for. Okay, seems okay. Very nice. Okay, now we just feel it's more. This Uganda. Okay, now it fits. Oh. So done. So done. I have to read the code. So done. Fifteen. Maybe this needs to be bigger. Yes. Yeah. Probably too much. A bit more. Okay. Now if we end this. I miss. South Sudan. Yes. Okay, probably two hundred. No, maybe a bit more. So now they fit the countries. Yes. So with the field size, you can adjust the background, and uh, in this way, for every every country you can apply a single filter yes. that, that modify the size so you can uh, in this case the field size will apply to all uh, the field that uh, non, don't match the rule inside the nested rules the nested filter yes. okay now for example, we want and uh, for these tiles in the next uh, scale denominator, we will use a different uh, a different uh, styles. So we, we want to hide the flags and show the name of the countries. Uh, there is a value about uh, the estimate population. So for uh, hide to this uh, this style, I use a different style to different scale. We have to use uh, the scale denominator. Is um, scale denominator is uh, a constant variable inside the GCSS, and uh, you need to to write uh, the in this way. Uh, scale denominator is uh, SD. So uh, at the at symbol SD. That means scale denominator is the scale denominator of the current scale in the view. I want to uh, apply this style only if the scale denominator is uh, greater than 20 millions because uh, this view is uh, to 18 millions. So as you can see now, there is no styles. If I go back to 35 million, we can see the style. So now we have, we can, we can start a new style to a different scale. Mm. That's useful when you have to change, uh, show different uh, uh, information based on the scales. Yeah. And so when you will go in depth on the zoom, in zoom you can show more detailed data. Now, the next property I would like to show. Now I will start a new rule that we apply only if the scale denominator is uh, less than 20 million. Less and equal. Now, uh, field. I will use okay, we use 
maybe red is better, red. So as before, we needed to filter our countries. So instead of uh, write all the uh, rule in this filter, we will move the scale denominator as uh, nested rules. So we need to add the nested rule. So we have this first style that will apply if the scale denominator is greater than 20 million. And another styles that will apply if the scale denominator is less than 20 million. Different column green. Okay, so uh, just to test, I will be back. Oh, now we have flex, so greater than 20 million. Green. Green if we have less than 20 million. Green. I would like to use uh, instead of green a white background with a fill opacity. Okay, so uh, I'm using white so we can highlight this uh, area. And uh, on stroke, I will use for now black stroke background. So we can see the uh, boundaries and uh, in this way uh, I would like uh, now I will copy a bit the styles for uh, the opacity and uh, yes now we will want to show here um, field that use the estimate population because uh, in this data there is uh, now a loaded the, sorry there are information also about uh, the estimate population and I will use uh, this value to make uh, um, different pattern inside uh, these, uh, these styles so, first of all, I want to change the stroke. Uh, I, I want to use a different color for the stroke. Okay, this one I selected before. Then, uh, for the boundaries, I will apply a dashed array. Dashed array to uh, make, uh, oh, you see, dash mm. on the lines mm. so is uh, a way to represent uh, border of countries and uh, I will add also a stroke opacity as for for uh, fill stroke as uh, opacity so we can apply also to that and make it Make it blend with the background, probably a bit more. That should be visible. Uh, now, uh, for these scales, um, we will use uh, the the properties fill with the symbols. Uh, symbol can, uh, no, I will apply circle to make it work. So a uh, fill I can use, as you can, uh, as we see before, URL, but can use also symbol. Symbol uh, retrieve from uh, the styles from the GSSS from pre-configured uh, shape or uh, lines. Uh, in this case, I am applying the, the circle to as pattern. 
but uh, there is also square. Now oh, it'll pick. Uh, there is cross. There is X. There is a different shape and a symbol that a user can use to apply in the background. Uh, and you don't need external link to make it. Uh, for this uh, kind of background, I will use the dot. It make a small dot on the map. Now they are not visible because they are, they are too small. I will make it visible using the field selector. When, uh, uh, now I will size. Um, when uh, the field use symbol is need uh, a selector selector uh, inside uh, of uh, the same lower selector start with uh, a column and uh, needs the same rules in this case field and uh, inside you can apply all uh, the rule that applies to this element this shape to be to make it visible, I'll use the circle and I'll make the fill. So uh, now the fill uh, is applied to the the background, I will also, I also, no size, but stroke. So this rule inside the, the field, the, the rule inside the field selector will apply to the symbol marker. Okay, now the next uh, uh, rule we are using is the fill random. It uh, creates nice pattern to the element and I initialize it. I will take the rule from field random. Okay. Field random. Uh, grid and tie sides. So uh, in this way, the pattern is applied randomly to the background and um, it's make a uh, more organic visualization and uh, I will use it with the shape dot so shape dot and uh, Stroke. I have to add the stroke. Stroke width. So the the point will be more visible. Maybe they need to be more uh, crowded. So we can. Uh, the symbol counts, try to add 500. Okay, they are more crowded. Probably we will 
use this, make the size a little bigger. Okay, so now it's work, and for now I will hide the opacity. Oh, so the comment, you could make comment inside uh, just assess in this way. Um, now, as you can see, we have uh, a random pattern applied to the background. And uh, we can use it to uh, visualize uh, the population of, by identifying this pattern. So uh, we change, you know, we take it. Okay. So to filter by a rule, we can use uh, always a nested filter inside uh, this, uh, this nested rule we made before to apply the style only for the style under the 20 millions. And Nestle Rund needs always semicolon because uh, are important, they cause an error. The style is invalid if it's missing a semicolon on uh, the nested rules. Uh, we will use est population, estimate population uh, we'll check again on the data, if it's right. I have to go to the second page. Now, uh, we look for of estimation, is this one. So we will use the value inside the popula population estim estimated to make more dense or less dense this uh, uh, pattern. Okay, uh, so uh, in this case we, we will use uh, greater than or less than because uh, they are a number, so we will start with uh, greater than uh, one million. You see what happens and we will change the count of the symbol inside. So we will change it to 100 to see some changes on the map. As you can see now, we have uh, uh, less than uh, fill pattern. Then uh, we can try to uh, add uh, new rules to change uh, the range where uh, this different count should be applied to different countries. So uh, we can add, now I have to list, I listed before this, so I can copy. If greater than this 5 million, I will change it. 5 million, I can change the values. So now we, we can start to see some difference. I will increase the greater one so we can see more, um, more than the others. I will check uh, the value I listed before. I use the uh, 10 for the lower and uh, I think 500, no, 1000 as count of field random for the greater. Um, so for every uh, range we can add a different field random, field random symbol count and uh, this will apply 
to our country based on the value of the population estimate. Uh, now to see the result, I will copy this, this line. Okay. With this, uh, we have, uh, I will change, we, in this case, uh, I use the, uh, the, the number notation, but uh, we can use also the sort abbreviation. For example, we can convert this uh, 2 million 500,000 and 2 million dot. So use a uh, M in uppercase to represent millions. So it's uh, easier to read it. This one we can change to 5 million. This one we can change to 10 millions. This one, this one, and so on for So with uh, this kind of uh, changes, we can uh, see different dance pattern at different, uh, for different value of population. Now to make it more, um, to highlight the, the, the difference, we can use also the stroke opacity. And uh, the stroke opacity, Uh, we can change the stroke opacity based, based on these values. Now, sorry, the fill opacity, not the stroke fill. Okay, so for the lower one, we can add 0 0.2. This one, we will add at 0 0.4. This one. 0.6 make this eight one probably needs so now in the, with the, the fill opacity, <laughs> probably this needs to be more lower to one. So in this way, we can uh, highlight more the country with a greater estimate population. Mm, that's great. This, uh, uh, a solution to use uh, both fill uh, opacity helps to highlight and uh, uh, fill random symbol count helps to increase, decrease the number of points inside that, uh, that region, that country. Okay, that's great. Okay, I will continue on the so maybe pro Yes. So we can also fill, we can also change the colors uh, whenever it's densely populated. It's more than this, fill this one yes. to red. And you can also do that, yes, now it's clear. I, I, I will try, if you want, I will try now, so we can yeah, see. Maybe in it, yeah, in yeah. densely populated countries, maybe put red so that to flag this okay. area. I will show you also the, the tools I used to the, oh, not this one. The the tools I showed before to select uh, so we can uh, I can show this one how it works. Oh, Ooh. I have to move uh, this uh, toolbar. Okay. Okay. Um, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so. We select six class, 
we can use a sequential for we have we want different uh, so chorus we will stay on uh, diverging you said red so try with this one now i will copy and paste the field inside so the greater i will use the red I have to, I'm sorry. Um, if you want to color, if you want color only the point, uh, the fill have to be, um, we have to use the stroke inside the fill selector because mm. uh, we are using symbols. You see yes. now, and if you use symbol, the, the value has, needs to be changed inside the selector. If you want to change the fill, we have to override the field inside I was, it. So. I was thinking of changing the, the, the dots to red. Okay. So, okay, okay. So if you want to change the dot red, we need to make a, another nested okay. road inside here. Oh. There, there, there are a different ways to apply this, but I will show you later. There are functions that uh, help uh, to filter. So I... No, I need to use uh, a function. I will show you now. Is the recode function? Uh, recode means, uh, or oh, in this case, it maybe it's better categorize. Categorize, uh, and uh, with categorize, we can. Uh, take the properties we need. Uh, we select the color, start color, for example. And now we'll take another color. Oh. Okay. In this kind of function needs to And now um, I have to apply for each. Uh, you, you can see now that uh, the the ones uh, on the lower have red colors. The greater the blue color. Yes. Yes. Uh, and I and now I will add. Uh, all uh, the, the other rules, but before I want to explain you our works uh, categorized, uh, I made right, categorize the work uh, in this way. You have the property, you, you need to make a square uh, brace to initialize it, right? Categorize, and then the property in our case, a pop est, and uh, we we need to uh, make colors with um, with in, in between the values, and for example, this uh, configuration is, is uh, you can read as follow: yeah. if uh, the properties, these properties is uh, equals or less than this value, you paint it uh, like blue. If it's in between this and this value, you paint it like yellow. Mm. If greater these values, you paint like uh, this magenta red. Okay. So I'm using this function to apply a different color based on the, in this case, uh, the population. So back to the map, we can, I'm, I'm copying, I don't know if uh, here I can use, uh, I think so, but I'm not sure. Yes, I can use these notes. So, I before I need to copy all this one. Okay. Uh, 
colors here need to be uh, between quotes inside uh, this function. Okay, this is another error. Okay, this is another error. So we need colors to make our scales and then we need the values in between two. Okay, now is a are missing. Okay. Now I will remove this. Okay. I will remove this. Watch. Okay. In between, I will set uh, the values uh, two millions, five millions, ten millions. Oh. Then I will. Why is it not? 50 and 100. In 50 and 100. Yes, maybe it's missing our values. Okay. Now, the 100, yes. So, 100. Yeah. And oh, missing column. Okay, now we can remove fill opacity. So, now maybe are better different color. Now I will make some different color because with the dot they are not so visible. You are right. Because that co that color in the pa in those palettes are um, better for uh, fill when the, the, you you have a solid fill. In this case, we are using dots, so they need uh, an highlighted color. Mm. Oh, this is okay. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, this is uh, probably in it. Try to see if this chain, yes, an orange. And uh, uh, we have blue, we can use, uh, this is orange, orange. This uh, can try black one, so. I think no one apply to this because there is no, okay, this one. So we have uh, orange for this color. And uh, so orange, blue, red, the greater population. And uh, to make may for video, we can use a uh, uh, slash lines. There is also a slash, it makes some line. Okay, for example, this one, and uh, you can also fill random rotation. You can say to the fill random to make it uh, free. So you apply it. And we just stroke with So it show the, the different values with a different uh, different pattern in this case. The red one is over 100 million. The, uh, this one is blue. The one in between 
25 million, uh, 50 millions. Then we have the green is between the uh, 25 million and 10 millions, and then uh, the orange between 10 millions and 5 millions. And the last one is uh, uh, the one between uh, uh, 2 millions and, seven, and 5 million. So great. With the function categorize, we don't need uh, to use uh, filters, but uh, we can uh, use uh, it uh, here directly. Okay, that's great.